Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Rishav and I'm here again with another new video. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the onboarding. Okay, so there are many confusions in mind of candidates like uh, when they will do onboarding and uh, they will do onboarding parallelly means uh, for elite and for postponed candidates, they will do onboarding at same time. So these confusions are coming into your mind by watching videos of other YouTubers but I want to clear your doubts in this video okay and I'm not going to tell anything from my mind I will show you proof also like uh, from where I'm getting those details and uh, I will put the link in description also so that you can also go through those sources and figure it out with your own okay so in this video I'm going to clear all your doubts so watch this video till end to understand everything in detail okay so let's start with the first will candidates okay so as you guys know that in previous video also I told like will candidates onboarding is going on and in December also there will be a onboarding for will candidates okay and will candidates are divided into two parts ways and whims and the company now started the onboarding of ways candidates okay some candidates get the PBL app access which belong to ways and the last date of PBL app is 15 January okay so after 15 january there may be a chance that their onboarding is scheduled by the company okay so onboarding of will will be start from january and end till march okay it may be go in next two months as i told in previous video also and uh, for elite candidates the onboarding will start from january okay for phase one candidates okay and if any phase two candidate want to know about their onboarding so I want to tell them like please be concerned about your PJP first because if you get PBL app access then you have to do PBL app for two months approx and then you will get the onboarding. So please don't ask phase two people about onboarding in my comment section okay because I will always give them reply like please wait for PJP okay and uh, for phase one people onboarding will be started from January onwards and now coming to the missed onboarding candidates okay so the purpose of this video is to clear their doubts okay so who are the missed candidates okay the candidates who fill up their joining forms and not attended the onboarding session are the postponed candidates or you can say missed onboarding candidates okay and uh, their onboarding is not yet happened and they are not getting any update so i will recommend you guys like please send a mail to manager.campus and I will share here a sample mail format you can write like this and send your mail to manager.campus and in return if you get this type of reply okay I will post here the screenshot if you get this type of reply then you are safe it means they noted your postponement and they will surely onboard you in upcoming onboardings okay and now coming to turbo postponed candidates and the candidates whose onboarding is postponed by company itself okay you can also consider elite postponed candidates and the candidates which belong to elite and uh, onboarding is postponed by the company okay so now listen to my words carefully and don't write anything in my comment section before understanding this video properly okay so i want to clear your doubts like uh, when will be the onboarding of postponed candidates Okay, so previously I told like uh, their onboarding may be start from March and uh, as you know the postponed candidates onboarding will be delayed by two months. It is usually happening in company like they are delaying onboarding by two months and after two, three onboarding they will take the postponed candidates. Okay, and now I am going to talk about the postponed candidates whose onboarding is postponed by the company itself. Okay. So no matter the company postpone your onboarding or you postpone your onboarding by your own. Okay. Why I'm telling this? Because previously I also told like they create a separate list. Okay. And uh, if you are thinking like uh, this time they may change the process of onboarding and may take postponed candidates first because uh, in other YouTubers video you can observe that they are telling like uh, the onboarding which are postponed previously are in August month will be onboarded in September okay so that scenario is not going to happen now because all the elite candidates will candidates are waiting okay 
and they gi they are giving priority to wealth candidates and then after elite candidates why it is so because they have to pay less okay as you know the wealth candidates are students and they are getting approx 15 or 17k whatever the stipend okay and coming to elite candidates they are also getting 24k or 27k whatever the salary package they are getting okay so this is a less salary package and because of less salary package the company will take those candidates first instead of turbo postponed candidates whose onboarding is postponed by the company itself okay okay you got my point like uh, they are taking candidates whose salary is less or they are maybe students like uh, wealth candidates they are the company is taking those candidates first and they are delaying the onboarding of turbo people because they have to pay more to turbo candidates and why i am telling this you can see here the screenshot so this is the screenshot of a youtube video which is posted on grow channel okay grow is a stock market channel and on that channel i saw this screenshot in which a youtuber is mentioning like uh, the stocks of companies going down day by day and they have only 8% of growth this year okay and also the company which is hcl also go in top third number okay and our company come at fourth number okay so by observing these things you can see the stocks are decreasing the company is facing loss and that's why they want to spend low as much as possible okay they don't want to take turbo candidates and give them higher pay like 40k or 50k or whatever the salary package is because they have to spend more on them and uh, as you know the work is same for wealth candidates elite candidates or turbo candidates in company if you work they will not differentiate like if you are wealth candidate you have to work less and if you are a elite candidate then you have to work more they will not differentiate they will just give them you work and if you are capable of doing that you can do that work okay so i am not telling like they will not take the postponed candidates or turbo candidates they will definitely take the postponed candidates and turbo candidates also but they will start onboarding for them little bit late like march or april why because uh, as you know the company is overcoming the recession and layoffs and you know in this company the there is no mass firing or layoff happening okay so the company is it, itself is struggling with these things and they will overcome it in next 2 3 months okay so when the company situation becomes better then they will surely take the postponed candidates and other people to whom they offer a huge salary okay so i know these lines hurt your sentiments and uh, you are feeling so sad after watching this video but my job is to make you aware not to make you happy okay so don't if you don't want to believe on my words you can better unsubscribe and don't watch my videos i don't spread negativity because many people are coming into my comment section and telling like rishav you are spreading negativity why are you telling these things <laughs> they are taking the postponed candidates first in january okay but uh, i can't tell you like this because i don't want uh, your attention okay i want to tell you the truth and make you aware that what is happening in the it companies okay so if you believe my word and if you want to watch that video from which i taken the screenshots the link is in description you can better watch that and then you will get to know the company stocks are decreasing day by day and company is suffering a lot from this recession and uh, due to lack of projects and that's why they want to hire the employees which are getting a low stipend or a low salary okay so these are my assumptions predictions or whatever you say my analysis okay and based upon that i am creating this video and if you have any doubts any questions related to it you can better comment down and i will answer them all so this video is just to make you aware and hope you will get some good knowledgeable info after watching this video and bye for now i will meet you again in next video till then bye bye take care and best of luck for your future